Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we are going to review Mini Tool Partition Wizard, which is a free utility to manage your disk drives. The Mini Tool Partition Wizard comes with many different versions, like Free, Pro, and Pro Deluxe. And then we also have the Server and Enterprise Editions. Each of these Mini Tool versions supports a different set of features, which have been listed on this webpage. You can download a free version of Mini Tool Partition Wizard and the download link is given in the video description. The link to the feature comparison chart is also given in the description. You can read and decide which version will best fit your business model. You can accomplish most of the basic disk management commands with the free version of Mini Tool as well. So, in this video, I will try to teach most of the basic hard disk management commands using Mini Tool Partition Wizard. When you open Mini Tool Partition Wizard, you are presented with this screen, where you see a detailed view of hard disk drives and their corresponding partitions and at the bottom, you see the graphical view of the same. From the left side pane, you can also run many of the disk management commands like migrating an OS, copy disk, partition recovery, convert disk, wipe disk, and many other useful commands. Right-clicking on a hard disk drive either in detailed view, or graphical view brings mostly the same disk management commands for you. Right-clicking on a partition or volume brings all the commands required to manage them like formatting, moving, resizing, extending, merging, splitting, and many more. For the demonstration purposes, we have three hard disk drives attached to this time, where we will apply most of the commands to disk number one, which is a 500 gigabytes hard disk drive and contains no useful data. Disk number two is a 250 gigabytes SSD drive, which is also an active and system partition and contains the operating system. And then we have a third hard disk drive, one terabyte, which contains my data on all its four partitions. So let's begin by deleting all the previous partitions of disk one. You can easily remove a partition by right-clicking on it and then choosing Delete from the context menu. Don't forget to back up your data to another partition or hard drive before performing these operations. The command will instantly remove the partition from the list, but it will only take effect if you later click the Apply button from the left side pane. If by mistake, you have applied a wrong command from the context menu, then you have the option to reverse the changes by pressing the Undo button. Disk 1 contains a single partition of 100 gigabytes as drive J, and 365 gigabyte space of the disk is unallocated, which means this space has not been defined as a partition, and cannot be used unless you create a partition, and later format the partition using FAT or NTFS file system. As soon as you delete the partition, and apply the changes, the entire disk space will get unallocated. If you have mistakenly formatted or deleted a partition and applied the changes, then Mini Tool Partition Wizard also gives you the ability to recover deleted partitions and files by using the data recovery feature from the ribbon on top. Or you can also access data recovery by right-clicking on unallocated space. Clicking data recovery will open a new tab, where you can see all the logical drives and all the hard drives attached to the system. You can either scan a drive alone, or you can also scan an entire hard disk drive for lost files from the Devices section. The scan for lost files can take time depending upon the drive size and the amount of data that needs to be recovered. To create a new partition over the unallocated space of a disk, you can right-click on unallocated space, and then choose to create, which brings create new partition window, where you can first specify a label for your partition, then the partition type, like primary, extended, or logical. Then you can choose the drive letter that you wish to assign to the new partition in the file system that you require for the partition, either FAT or NTFS. Below you can enter the partition size that you need and then apply the changes.
If in any case, you do not choose any file system while creating a new partition, then the drive letter feature will also get disabled, because you cannot assign a drive letter without formatting the drive. Giving a partition label is not necessary, and you can leave it blank. Let's choose unformatted as the file system and give the remaining disk space of 215 gigabytes to this partition. Later, at any time you can choose to format the partition with a file system from the right-click context menu. NTFS and FAT both are the most popular file systems. Let's choose FAT32 for this partition, and you can see that we have two tasks under operations pending. If you want, then you can add more tasks and can later apply all the changes at once. Like, I can add a label to the partition from the right-click context menu and can also add the change drive letter command. Let's give the letter L to this partition and apply all the three changes at once. To look into the data of any of these drives or partitions, just right-click on the drive letter and choose Explore. You can also look into more detailed information about a partition by opening the Properties window. Not only that but you can also move, resize, extend, merge, and split partitions or volumes, depending on the disk type. Later, in any case, if you want to resize a partition, then you can redefine the size under Move, Resize window. If you decrease the partition size then the unallocated space will get an increase. And if you increase the partition size then it will take disk space from the unallocated space. Extend partition is just like resizing the partition, but with the difference that you can extend a partition or volume size with a single click and can assign all the unallocated space to it. You can also split a partition into two without losing the data using the split command. Like, we can split the drive J into two equal parts using the split command. You can also change and convert the file system without formatting the drive. Like, here we have this partition with the NTFS file system, and you can convert it to FAT32, but that requires at least the pro version of Mini Tool Partition Wizard. However, if you have a drive with the FAT32 file system and you want to convert that to NTFS, then you can do this using the convert FAT to NTFS command. You can also hide a partition or volume using the hide partition command, which will remove the drive letter and you will no longer be able to see that drive in Windows Explorer. You can use the unhide partition command and can then assign a drive letter. You can also convert a disk partition table from GPT to MBR or MBR to GPT by right-clicking on the disk number. If you want to securely remove all the drives of a disk, and you do not want anyone to later recover the data, then you can use the wipe disk command. Here you can also see the warning that later you will not be able to recover the data using any data recovery solutions. Along with that, you can also migrate the operating system in case, you need to replace your current hard drive which stores the OS. The wizard will guide you to choose the right method and reason for the migration. If you want to copy an entire partition then you can take the help of copy partition wizard, where you will be asked the partition that you would like to copy and then the partition where you would like to copy the selected partition. Same way, you can also clone an entire disk using the copy disk wizard.
If by mistake, you have removed some partitions that you did not want to remove then you can take the help of Partition Recovery Wizard, which will help you to recover the lost or deleted partitions. So, you can run most of these disk management commands in the free version of Mini Tool Partition Wizard, and I hope you will like the video. Let me know by leaving your valuable comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching, bye and take care.